So, so basically you're taking the, the multi-factor authentication that we know from our mobile devices and you're taking that principle and applying it to workloads. That is correct. We all know about a multi-factor authentication solution. Every user has a way to identify itself before accessing his, its or his uh, uh, resources. We have text that we get in the uh, in mobile phone. We, have, we are getting alert that we are changing a machine to, from a machine to machine, obviously. So the question is how come in 2020 we don't have an identity solution that will essentially secure accessing between the workload, between the container to the same resources that again, that are again very much important for us uh, to protect. And with this notion we essentially gone and uh, uh, invented the, the, uh, the notion of identity for a workload themselves. So who introduces the actual identity? I mean, does the developer need to decorate his own code or, or where does the identity happen? Yeah, so, so the whole notion or the whole design of uh, the solution should, should be uh, facilitated in such a way that it won't be intrusive. Uh, specifically since we are dealing with DevOps and operation folks that they want everything to be up and running and no hustle with configuration. So, so the whole solution, first of all, need to be SaaS enabled and, and to, to begin with. And the second thing, and not to be sort of uh, very tied into the actual process uh, or the actual coding of uh, uh, within the pipeline itself. So the way that the, uh, the solution hooks into the, into the pipeline is simply by installing a one-time plugin on the pipeline itself and that's it. From this moment on, you can actually be able to identify what came from your pipeline itself and essentially everything else that got into your runtime and didn't mm -hmm. come from, uh, from your pipeline, obviously, oh. and protect the network itself.